have you ever stand up and look to what you've done in your life and think is what I a life is anything that I know not an illusion a matrix or some kind of thing if anything It's just make belief and that anything that you know or that you've been told is just a lie. Well, lie constructed by the majority, constructed by the people that rule society, constructed by people that want to hold you in the dark about the actually world which lets you work for a long time make you busy with things that don't matter actually but there wants to convince you that matter Be you, if you once ask, what is my, what I, what do I on this planet? What's the point of living? What happen if I disappear? Actually, that you've been on the right path. Because humans have no deeper heart actually for existence. Humans being the most insignificant being on this planet. Don't understand me wrong. For human society, you mean vinyl. But when it comes to the whole world, and not humans being the whole world, or the paths, or the animals that are choose to respect, but for the planet in as a whole. Have you once asked you the question yourself? What's the problem with the planet? The global warming, what's the reason of that? Have you asked yourself once that question? Around something like 51 to 80 percent of all the greenhouse gas, like I told you, come not from all the forms of transportation together. There's only about 40 percent. 40 percent. It actually come from animal agriculture. Be also aware that the reason that there are starving children in poor countries is because of the meat industry. Because they are intentionally steal food from poor countries and feed it to the 90 billion land animals. And the 19 billion marine animals. Murdered any year for food, and this has been on the numbers from the meat industry themselves. The oceans of sea life at an alarming pace. 
I think you that's victim marshals give about the amount of victims that they are murdered. Stop making annoying excuses, people. Is murder not always murder, no matter how the species been? Murder is technically the taking of life without permission of one living being, of a sentient being. Actually, in 2012, a group of neuroscientists have proved that humans and animals have the same kind of consciousness. So, there is no excuse for it anymore, except the fact this become time that the majority, that the society, that the status quo accept this fact. Animals be not on this planet for humans. And animal agriculture is the biggest cost of human and animal abuse. What you think that's uh, happening in the poor countries, where all your expensive shit comes from, that uh, the media and the businessmen want to sell you, that you don't actually need. Awaken humanity. I will give you the blue, I will give you the red pill and I'll hold you out of the rabbit hole and show you how far the rabbit hole go. Subscribe to the mirror of the truth and go vegan animals be not on this planet for man kind for human kind if there come come one group of beings from another planet beings how consider themselves a superior to you if you feel yourself to be to other animals. Once you then give them the right of you that you assume to have about other animals, they're being murdered, aka that we so euphemistically call slaughtered. They are being raped, what we so euphemistically call artificial insemination they're being commodified and tortured how will you feel if the day you've been born somebody else is already planned the day of your execution once you know that then somebody stand up for your rights. Your right your life is only worth something if you stand up for the victims. There is no nobility in fighting for the rights of victimizers. Awaken humanity. Awaken, awaken, awaken from your so-called horrific nightmare. Instant of boundless compassion to any living being is the only guarantee of moral content. Somebody that full is full with this will, with absolute surety, 
not injure somebody else. Compassion to animals is generally considered to be a sign of goodness of character. And it can be say with absolute surety and with comfort that somebody that is cruel to animals is not a good person. 